Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. It's autumn again. And so that means it's dark by the time I've picked up Lindsay and we reach a suitable park up. But it also means we get to see this on the road quite often. Good Alan Lee, back at the Glen River to stay. The weather is sunny at the moment, but believe you me, it hasn't been for uh, most of the weekend. It's been wet, it's been windy. Let's have a look down with us. much to see this way. This is the River Livet and it runs down past the Packle Bridge to join the Avon at uh, Drummond Castle which apparently is open again so we may have a, a visit there before the change of year or we may leave it until this time. standard Glen Lewitt signpost with all the information not just on the park up, park up you're at but uh, access information the various paths etc etc And that is the main road in and out. In fact, the only road in and out. Alan Reed is a ruined farmsteading situated near the banks of the River Livet. It consists of the remains of a small farmstead, enclosure and longhouse situated on the southwestern facing slope. Cameron, the 16th captain and chief of Clan Cameron, 
fought with Huntley and his adherents at the Battle of Glenlivet in 1594. Allen had previously entered into an indenture with Huntley, indicating that he would assist him against all his enemies, especially the Macintoshes and the Grants. In many ways, this was a religious conflict, with approximately 2,000 men, including the Camerons, fought in support of the Catholic Earls of Errol and Huntley, routing 10,000 Highlanders under the Protestant Earl of Argyll. The battle took place near Allen Reed and Morinch and is noted as being a dramatic victory of artillery and horse over irregular infantry. Infantry. At the head of the Cameron men, Allen performed what is referred to as a singular service against his old enemies, the Macintoshes, whom he defeated and pursued with great eagerness and did Huntley such service as merited a different reward. From that which he afterwards received, the Confederation of Argyle, Athol, the Forbes and the Macintoshes was soundly defeated.
Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.